Jesus, completely did not notice that. Phew, that was close. That was close indeed. How about our trade then? How's the trade looking? Huh. Kind of looks okay. Yeah, it looks the same as it was before. A lot of gold here. We're collecting it. They're taking six gold out though, which is kind of disappointing. The Hansa. Um, Portugal, they tell us of tea and sugar. Mm, lovely, 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 lovely. Ooh, too much, actually, I don't like tea. I don't know why. A lot of people get confused because they say, because I'm English, I should love tea. But I've never really been that interested in tea. Never really that interested. I don't know why. Just never had a taste for it. Prussia Canada is given 30 gold. What? Why did that just happen? Okay, so that was just like a, a weird thing. I, I was wondering why it said I had 33. Huh. Subject interaction. What can we get them to do? Increase tariffs, place governor, start colonial war. That would be kind of interesting. Customize the subject. Um, the name. Um, don't want to change the name, actually. You know what? We're not going to change the name. I actually like the fact it's Prussian Canada. We'll change some other names in the future, but um, I like Prussian Canada. If we ever get to choose another colony name. But I like Prussian Canada at the moment. It's fine. And it looks as though Prussian Canada took Micmac. Maybe because they won that war, they took money off them, and that ended up being sent to me. I'm assuming that's probably what happened. So, so we got we got furs here. Ah, Prussian Canada. Hopefully you'll be great. Now, they seem to be a little bit split up, and we can see a bit more of North America, which is kind of interesting. Okay. Um, seem to be some revolts here, occupied. Ooh, they've been attacked by the natives, and they seem to be losing. Thirteen Colony is not having a good time. Noble Rebels, new trade research is heretical. Lose prestige or lose diplomatic power. Let's go for dip. We're ahead on diplomatics, so that's fine. And we've got some administration back. So how about we go here to stability? Unless it's lower than one. Uh, uh, lower than one. Okay, so we, could, we probably should be able to do that quite easily. At the moment, this is getting ridiculous. Um, harsh treatment. I'm just going to do that for now, aren't I? Just to lower it for now, that's probably hopefully the last one I have to do, that overextension. 270, so we've almost got enough for that. Once that is done, hopefully we can just push that up. Come on, come on. There we go, perfect. Okay, hopefully when these two are done, they will hopefully lower it to enough. A loan is coming due. Okay, let's have the 13 colonies I've beat them back. They're fighting Castile. Okay, so they're fi England is fighting Castile um, and Portugal. Yeah, and Corsica and Province, stuff like that. Okay. They seem to have finished that war. Not sure what happened. Send it to there. Perfect. Oh, and the Lumen disaster's gone. No, it hasn't. No, so I, I, I didn't see anything popping up there for anything bad. So I thought it had gone. <laughs> Don't know why I'm saying that. Of course it wasn't gone. Ah, damn, damn, damn. But our manpower has increased, but we need the money to pay back the loan as well. Jesus, I put ourselves in a pickle, haven't I? I don't know how we found ourselves in this situation. I guess maybe I expanded a bit too quickly. We have expanded quite a lot in the last, you know, 100 years, actually. When you think about it, consider when we started off as, you know, just this tiny area around here. Um, we have kind of expanded quite a lot and took on a lot of different cultures and stuff. But I think it's gone quite well. Um, obviously, we've got these two as our vassals. We can, we can leave that rebel uprising for now. Jesus, that is looking bad. Ooh, generally, the unrest is just getting... It's just overall quite big, but they're all really small unrest in lots of areas, so we should be fine. Still some... Uh, still a possibility here. 21, he's still not had a son. That could be good for us. That could be an opportunity for us to kind of get our dynasty there, which would be perfect. I, I would really like for us to have a, our dynasty on the bohemian throne, that would be really good. What are you doing, Scandinavia? What are you doing? Now, we're not going to spend the money. Apparently, I guess it's for one of my vassals. Huh. Not here, it looks like. I guess in the New World. Okay, so apparently there's some Prussian-Canadian noble rebels in Prussia, Canada. Okay, who's actually ruler of, like, who, who controls Prussian Canada? Uh, Ruprecht von Rutenberg. Ah, it's a lovely name. Is the colony of ours, um, yeah, nothing else really going. 522, nothing really special. Republic, um, but yeah, 
Okay, yeah, nothing really special there. We can get this global terrace. Would be quite nice. That would be kind of nice. And we are ahead in our diplomatic tech. So you know what? I think we're going to do it. And now help us. The next one will be an extra colonist, which would be really nice. So that probably would be good. We get an extra then to colony then income. So one gold. That's not too. That's pretty nice. That's pretty nice there. And as it expands, we should get more. The colony is now self-sustaining. Perfect. Excellent. Um, that was the one. Which one's that? This one? Okay, perfect. So yeah. Um, we have one colonist now available. How about we go for this one then? They'll be almost close to those guys, but they should just be off. Yeah, so we'll go for that then. Send these men. Now that didn't come part of Prussian Canada. Is that because it's now part of a different area? So that means it should be maybe a different colony? I'm not sure. Not sure, but what's Prussian Canada doing? What is Prussian Canada going? Prussian Canada! What are you got what are you guys doing? You're not at war. Why are you sending these are you sending these men up oh they're sending the men up there? <laughs> they're sending the men all the way up there to fight them. Nope, no, okay. Uh they're going the long way around. I can't I guess they can't go through Holland. I guess that makes sense actually. Yeah, they probably can't go through Holland. We got a few Russian separatists here. Starting to get a little bit out of hand, but yeah. Look at that, Prussian Canada's growing. I'm liking this. Liking this, definitely. Oh, oh. Portugal is occupying the 13 colonies. That's not looking good for Britain. How's Britain doing back here? Oh, wow. Aragon is completely occupied by Castile. That is a surprise because in the past, Aragon has been kicking Castile's ass. This is a real big turnaround. How have Castile been able to do this? That could completely change European politics right now. Hmm. Yeah, that could have, if they take a lot from Aragon, that could have a detrimental effect to the politics. Um, everyone kind of wants to be friends with Aragon, but now maybe you'd want to choose, rather choose someone else. Um, Golden Horse announced me as their rival. Seems a bit ridiculous. Why is this so high now? Advancement of true, blah, blah, blah. That seems higher than normal. I guess we lost some other stuff. Our legitimacy has that gone down. Our legitimacy has gone up. Huh. We can increase that, we'll do that. Okay, harsh treatment again then. Jesus, 200, oh my god. We just gotta keep control of our lands for the time being, that's all. Once we get through this rough patch, we should be good. Like I say, then we can actually go on a big conquering spree. Um, I think in the HRE, just because I think we need to kind of expand before we can face the Ottomans, yeah. The glory of our capital has long been neglected. We now have an opportunity to improve the city. Okay, um, lose manpower, gain prestige, spend money. Uh, let's lose the manpower. We can do that. Don't really gain much from that, actually. Wasn't sure if that's really worth it, but yeah. Now, those Russian separatists. Yeah, because it seems to be going up quite quickly, because even though it's all very small, they seem to be able to get lucky. Uh, Bryansk is actually getting a lot of men. How about Kiev? Okay, Kiev is... I don't see Kiev on there. Okay, perfect. We'll move the Kiev men then. Perfect. Um, colony self-sustaining. Excellent. That means we can now send our people somewhere else. Okay, that was this one. How about we go down this way? And we have this island over here as well. Perfect. Mingan. Uh, accommodation of natives in Pensbok. Okay, one ferocity. Looks like they defeated those rebels. That's nice. Okay, they're sending more men up. Okay. They've got more men here. Looks like our, uh, our Prussian Canada is expanding themselves. Getting a bit stronger. That's what we like to see. Not looking good, though, for them. Occupied with Portugal. Obviously, Portugal's on the side of Castile. And obviously, Castile's defeat in Aragon. So it looks like it's looking good for Castile. Um, so we can see what they take from their uh, peace treaty. It'd be interesting to see what they take. Do they take a lot of stuff? Do they not take much? Do they hurt the colonies? We'll have to wait and see. But it could have a big effect. But yeah, once we've done this, though, once we've got the thing, we can look who to attack. I think I'll probably just finish off Poland to begin with and uh, Kiev because they're both allied. So we could probably start with finishing off those two. Let's do stability. Hopefully that low. Okay, there we go. Perfect. 
Provincial unrests have all been lowered. Uh, national unrest is lower than one. Perfect. So what we're going to do is increase stability once more. And we are done. Perfect. Good job, people. Good job. We could add a policy. Um, stability cost modifier. That'd be quite nice for the time being. Yeah, let's go for that. Because we, we're doing quite well on diplomatic power. So let's go for this. Let's enact this policy. Because we need to increase the stability. There we go. Hopefully it lowers the cost. It said it would lower the cost. It doesn't look like it's lowered much. Nope, it's not been lowered much. Okay, we'll have to wait and see though. But that's the last one. We're so close. And look at that. Unrest has basically disappeared now. Perfect. That is isn't good. We've almost got rid of this disaster. So actually, that really wasn't that big a deal, actually. Is that just because we're so big now? So it actually didn't much of a big effect? Or... Is it always kind of in that percentage difference? Oh my god, I just seen... Oh my god, Aragon. Castilla's taken back most of the lands they've lost. And it looks like they took off... <laughs> they took Aragon. But they let them keep Rioja. So it's kind of like they kind of swapped those two provinces, it seems like. Maybe they took a bit more? No, no, I think they just, they think they just swapped those two provinces. But yeah, that is, that is actually quite a lot in one war for Castile to take. What happened in the New World? Anything? The 13 colonies still look fine. Um, I don't think Aragon had any really here. you got big French Columbias here. The Netherlands has really gone on the attack down there. I did not see them there before. I didn't see any Netherlands lands there before. But now they've got a really big one. Interesting. It looks like this isn't becoming part of Prussian Canada. So that's kind of nice. We can have a second uh, colony. Which should be interesting to see. Looking forward to that. Think of a new name. Prussia Land. Wolf York. No, no, we, could, we won't call it Wolf York. We can name it after, obviously, a place that we have. New Prussia. I don't know. The Philippines, obviously, they had the Philippines. That's a name named after a king. Um, but, yeah. Uh, Wolfenia. Uh, new Konigsberg could be a name as well. News Newburg. We could call it Newburg. Yeah, we call somewhere Newburg. <laughs> so there's quite a few possibilities. All of them sound terrible <laughs> from the ones that I'm choosing from at the moment. Okay, this rebel uprising, 60%, but they basically all disappeared, so that's great. Okay, so that's good. We've basically got control of the situation. Thank God. Thank little baby Jesus. Thank him, thank him, dear Lord. Okay, right, let's have a look at the religions then. Now, reform is really spread out in the lands that we control in our vassals. Um, other than that, though, that's really it. And obviously, northern Italy. Um, but yeah, sadly, no one else has really taken on the mantle of reformed. Uh, Protestant basically is just the whole of the HRE. Um, end of internal conflicts in France. Yeah. Hmm. Just kind of all kept the same areas. Yeah, the places outside the HRE didn't really change um, to Protestant, which is kind of a shame. How about the New World then? So obviously up here, the uh, New Canadians have reformed. <laughs> um, most people in America are Catholic. Internal conflicts uh, in Crimea, we got fish. And some Protestants, the first Protestants to the New World are apparently down in uh, South America and for serfdom or lose legitimacy. Let's, uh, let's lose administration. Oh no, we're so, let's just do that. We can afford to do that. You know, at the moment, we've had bad time with our uh, legitimacy. We don't really want to lose too much more, really. It's probably best if we don't. How about the rest of the world, though? Venice declared war upon Austria. That is an interesting war. We'll wait to see what happens there. Um, there's a little bit of Coptic left. Coptic down here as well. A little Shia here as well. Catholics down here, probably because of the... Uh, Great Britain has land over here as well. Okay. Ibadi still survives over here. A tiny, tiny Shia land here. Hmm, she has not done so well. A little bit over here. A lot of, lot of Hindu. Um, but yeah. Okay, a lot of Hindu lands. Um, some Buddhists over here. The red one is, uh, Mayana. Hmm. Is that the other, um, type of Buddhism, I think? I think it's a type of Buddhism. There are different types of Buddhism from they added different types of Buddhism in at some point, I think. Yeah. I think it was this one, this one, and this one they added in. A little bit of Tengu left, but not much left. 
Um, these guys, Manchus or Confucianism. Um, Shinto up here. What's this? Is this Catholic? Really? There's some Catholic? Huh. That does surprise me. And it's Japanese lands. How did, how did Catholics get to Japan? I don't normally see that. And obviously in the real world, that did not go so well. <laughs> people trying to turn them into uh, um, Catholics. That didn't go so well for people who tried to uh, convert the Japanese, if I remember correctly. I think I heard a story, apparently, there were some missionaries who went to uh, Japan to try to convert them to uh, Catholicism. And they taught them about the Bible and obviously Jesus and the cross. And apparently the Japanese government was very upset about this. And so they actually decided to crucify those people actually uh, promoting the religion. They actually cruci they, go, they basically, like they said, basically, if you want to be, if you're going to promote this guy who died by the cross, how about you die by the cross if he's so great? So they actually crucified them. And that was the first documented crucifixion in Japan. Before that, they'd never even done anything like that before. Um, and apparently what happened was, though, is the government found it was such a strong way to uh, enforce the law. So basically no missionaries came after that. Missionaries were so scared to come in, hardly any missionaries came after that. So the government found it was pretty effective and they started using it on their own people. So I think it said like for like 100 years, um, Japan actually, the government actually did do crucifixions um, because it was just very useful. And actually, you can actually almost pay back this loan, so that's good. But yeah. So the government actually started doing crucifixions in response to like, you know, uh, people who spoke out against the government, people who tried to revolt, um, stuff like this. Um, but actually what happened was though it started after a while, it started to create a big problem because people got very angry, very upset because it was such a horrible way to kill people, you know. It's very, people, you know, everyone sees it, it's very visual. And so it actually had an opposite effect after a while. But there's a big war happening in HRE. Saxony seems to be attacking the Netherlands and Great Britain and stuff. Munz it's in three wars right now, trying to protect its people. And Bohemia is in one, fighting with like a few of the lower ones, native uprising. What's Scandinavia doing as well? Venice and Aragon. Ooh, there's a few big wars here. The Dutch conquest of Anchan. Okay, interesting. So are you friends with the British then? Okay, they are friends of the British. Netherlands and the British. Not allies you want to see, really. Not allies you want to see. How much do we have to pay back? 525. Almost got enough there to pay them back. But yeah, that could have a big effect on whether, you know, Saxony gets elected the new Holy Roman Emperor again. If they can't defend their people, why would anyone elect them? We'll have to wait and see. There's only 25 princes left. Um, not so many. Free advisor slot. Hmm. How much money are we making? 10. Yeah, let's just go for the, the bottom one. Morale of army is always quite nice. Jeez, a lot of country modifiers. Um, there we go, boost. And there we go, end of internal conflicts. Ah, game one stability. There we go. So now our country is more, more, more together than ever, really. So that's good to see. Excellent. Very good. Defender of the faith. Um, okay, Bohemia seems to have a kid once, finally. Um, provincial unrest is basically gone. So, excellent. So, things are looking good for our nation then. We can probably look to attack other people. But, I'm going to uh, create some more soldiers. How many soldiers can we make? Whoa, a lot more. At least 15. So, let's just create a whole new army. Because so I think these two are okay in their, yeah, in their numbers. They're pretty good. So, let's make one in our capital then. Okay. Hmm. What do we want? Let's go for five soldiers, two of these, one of these. We'll start with that for now and we'll see what happens. Um, native assimilation. Okay, perfect. Yeah, we'll start building our armies again. Once the armies have been built, we can look to the future. Novgorod would like to get married. Perfect. But yes, definitely looking at the HRE, especially right this second would be a perfect time um, probably to attack someone. Is Poland, did they put themselves under the HRE? No, it doesn't look like it. Yeah, they could have put themselves under the HRE to try and escape us. Um, would have been a smart thing to do, Poland. Would have been a smart thing to do, and they're only allied with Kiev right now, which is not a good thing to be with at the moment. Because uh, they're kind of small. Kind of small. Uh, Crimea has been attacked by the Golden Horde. 
Hmm, the Golden Horde could be actually a threat to us, and they do, they have rivaled us. We seem to have quite a few rivals. I don't like this. Um, I don't want to create subject, I want to look at my country. I am looking at my country. Yeah, we have Golden Horde, Scandinavia, Ottomans, and Great Britain. Not a good selection of enemies. That is a very, <laughs> a very bad selection of enemies right now. Okay, just one more month we can pay back this loan. Come on, come on. And we should probably increase the relations of Hungary, actually. Don't want to lose them as an ally. There we go, perfect. And we can probably now pay back the loan. There we go, pay it back. Perfect, there we go. So we paid back the loan. Um, I want to reduce inflation, but it will cost us administration power. And right now, our administration power is too important. We've spent our administration power way too much. And we're behind by minus 15% at the moment on that. So that is bad. Yeah, we definitely need to try and concentrate back on our technologies for that. And also military. We're going to start running, falling behind on technology when we were on the forefront of technology. We're still second, apparently, on point, which is kind of nice. Which doesn't actually surprise me. I don't know who's first, though. Let me just have a quick look. I don't usually care about it, but I just want to see, actually, our sport, uh, score comparisons. Uh, this month score. Ah, not a surprise then. Ottomans is number one. Portugal is number three. France, four. Great Britain. Okay, that seems to make sense. Um, yeah, nothing really surprising. Aragon's a bit lower down than I thought. Maybe because they lost quite a lot recently. Maybe. I don't know. Yeah, because they're not getting any this month. Savoy, Norway. Norway, I'm surprised, is that high. Uh, Ming. Okay. I guess Ming, yeah. I'm surprised they're not lower, actually, because they got destroyed quite a while ago. They must have been pretty high up before. 